What up, what up, Gale Nation? Welcome back to H24 Sports. I'm your host, Jacob Tintin, and um, we're back with I'm back with Danny um, <laughs> because uh, he wanted me to come down here because I thought this was fun. Uh, so yeah, you're not getting the proper intro, but slice bread for on the other side. Uh, Danny's like for the bunny. Danny's punishment is you don't get a proper intro. Um, that's cool with that. No. Yeah. No, not okay with that. Not cool. Um, so how how are we doing, gentle gentlemen? Uh, it's just a uh, great day to be a Yankee fan, isn't it? Oh, great, yeah. Great day to be Yankee. Jay Bruce retired. Hey, he did today. Oh. Today. As of today. So, uh, Today's his recording, last game, right? Uh, Sunday, April 18th. Yes, see, he's retiring, but he's still rostered and is on the bench available for today. He, uh, Aaron Boone has no desire to play him today, meaning that while someone else could be in his spot, no, we have a retired person sitting on the bench. I love the New York Yankees, the worst team in the American League, statistically. For the, for the first time in a while. 97, I believe. Yeah. Oh, 98, April 4th, 1998. Yeah, well, I don't care. I'm so sad. I mean, it's just a normal story we're expecting going in. Our rotation is Garrett Cole, and everyone else is not good. Uh, the bullpen yeah. is trying, but the bullpen's, no, the bullpen's been very good. The they're bullpen's they're gonna burn out, though. Yeah, the bullpen to, minus Nick Nelson has been fantastic. Yeah, but Nick Nelson, garbage. Uh, the thing is, the bullpen can only carry it so far when uh, Kluber hasn't. I mean, Kluber's probably having a slow start because he's only pitched one inning in two years. So, makes sense. But, I mean, once we get out of April, it's going to be like we need people to start performing. And if they're not performing, then we're, yes, yeah. we're lost. Yeah, we're lost. We're, we're yeah, in a lost. That's how, uh, the offense. That's how the ball when you think what? about it. I was watching the game yesterday and it. The, pit, the pitching, they lost, what, 5-3? 6-3, uh, I believe. Yeah, they could have – I think it was this, uh, this, uh, the 6th of the 7th inning. It, two on, two out, and Judge just looked at a 3-2 fastball right down the middle. Yep. Who pitched? Monty pitched yesterday, right? Uh, Monty pitched yes, Monty yeah, pitched. And, and I believe he pitched, 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 pitched right, yeah. But, like, yeah, the offense isn't producing as much. They've been slightly better since last week, but it, Not it's – it, yeah, I mean, yeah, five and eight, 13 games is not something to like, to, like, get the sirens over, but it's not, it's not a good sign going forward, especially now. Like, you have big problems with, you know, hitting with runs in scoring position, the rotation, everything that's not the bullpen, first base. Why is Mike Ford not playing? Um, yeah, things like that. It's, it's very, how long, how long is Gary going to be out for? No idea, but Gary's hurt now. Who cares? Gary was finally being good again. No, he's not. He'll never. He be. was one of the Yankees' only offensive producers. Yes. I rather him now. He's hurt. I rather him suck and the Yankees do good than the Yankees do bad and him be good. That's, That's an idiotic statement. I will just say that. Um, put, the over, put the team over one player any day of the week. I'd put. You said you'd rather have Gary suck than him be good. Yeah, if it, if it means the Yankees will do good, I'll take it. Well, yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather have a better option. Like, I'd that. rather have Gary at his best, like, because that helps the team. No Gary matter. at his best is 225. What? Gary at his best is batting 225. Gary at his best is averaging, like, 260 while hitting 40 jacks. That's Gary at his best. Gary's one of the best offensive hitters in the, in the league, D- let alone catcher. Vin just hates Gary Sanchez. I know, but 260. He's so bad. So good. I know. Yeah, because he can do that. All right. Not only is he a terrible hitter, he's a terrible defensive catcher. Yeah, he's improved. He's got a cannon. Bro, he's still gar. I don't care if he has a cannon. He's still garbage behind the plate. He's not as bad as you really think, really. If you don't give him a chance, you won't improve in your eyes. So I there's that. Give him a chance. Um, give him a chance. Don't know. Bad. <laughs> bad. bad. Bad day. Don't you? Oh yeah. By the way, um, uh, you know how I put the emojis up yesterday, like last week, where like with the the reactions. Yeah. Those don't show up actually when you after in a recording. Thank God. So that, that's so that's that's kind of that's kind of awkward. Like I so like I was like I was like watching it back and like I was like oh you were around a boss to whoever and then the, I clicked the thing and oh it just it didn't show. You know that's a good that's a I guess it see is, Vin's got hands up right now. That's that's yeah, good. That's show. really good that it doesn't show. It doesn't show. Really good that it doesn't show. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, other than I'm, that, Mookie, gonna, bet, Mookie yeah. Bet's good at baseball. I saved it. Like, that two games. series has been so much fun. Well, yeah, Dodgers, it'll, happen a lot. it'll happen a lot more. You get because, 19 you know, games of it. I cannot wait for it. Uh, that's fantastic. Go, go, 
Padres. Um, Padres or Mookie Betts. I like him too. Yeah. Um, hey, on, the bright, on the bright um, side, the Rangers have just destroyed the Devils over the past. That's 13, 13 goals to three goals over three games. Hey, you hey, are back to back shutouts. Hey, 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 What's he doing? Uh, he's going to show a tank. He's going to show a tank. He's going to show a tank. Oh, hey, it's a tank. It's a tank. Don't worry. Not tank. So, but yeah, Rangers been good. Um, no acquisitions for them with the trade deadline. Uh, got Zach nice. Jones with an eye on the future. Uh, the, our defense might be really good in a couple of years or next year. That's a really good sign, especially when our defense has been weak for the entire five year. years. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. The only person we could blame is Lindy Ruff because Lindy Ruff was our defensive coach for the past five years before we hired Jacques Martin. And yeah. he was not good. Hey, so, you're not coach now, so I don't know what we're Yeah, doing. that's why your team is not good. Yeah. Very fair statement. Lindy Ruff is not a defensive-minded coach. He's an offensive-minded coach. Yeah. Uh, 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 Hideki Matsuyama won the... Oh, yeah, shout out to Hideki Matsuyama. Won the Masters. Good for him. First Japanese-born player to win the Masters on the guy side. Yeah, yeah, I think so, yeah. And he, he it came down to the wire, too. Uh, what's his face? Uh, I forget his name. Will something. He's getting, he's getting booked like uh, Adam Sandler's caddy. You know? Yeah. One sec. I forget his name. Will Smith. Uh, yes. yes. Will Zatoris. Close. Yeah, Will Zatoris. Uh, yeah, he, got, he, he, made it, he made it close, though. He was, uh, his, uh, Matsuyama was one over on the, on the final round. And he's up, he's up by four strokes going into the day, I believe. And uh, Zatoris, uh, I think he cut it to one. Cut it to one yeah, stroke. So Will, Will, Will Smith is cool. But uh yeah, shout out to shout out to Masoyama. Well deserved. Great guy too. And there's pictures. Did you see him in the airport too? No. Uh, he uh so he was like walking, like rather than like flying like he flew commercial on the way back from the masters, rather than like flying like private jet. He didn't even pack his jacket. He, like he had it like folded like on his shoulder. Mm-hmm. It was just it's just great to see. It's, it's he's a good guy, so it's nice to see a, a team like it's nice to see a good guy win, them, win a prestigious tournament as the Masters. Yeah. Um, uh, other thing that happened, though. Uh, uh, LaMarcus Aldridge, La- Marcus recently Aldridge. acquired by the Brooklyn Nets via signing, uh, retired uh, due to a uh, heart, uh, heart, uh, heartbeat increase or a rapid heart rate or whatever. Heartbeat increase. <laughs> yeah, Irregular no. heartbeat. heartbeat, Danny. Yeah, that's the term. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, a very, very similar, uh, getting very, like, Showing similarities like Chris Bosch, and it kind of hurts also like a deep end, like seeing that. Um, Aldridge probably derails a Hall of Fame career, I'm going to say. Uh, I don't think he's going to get in now, looking at saying where he is in points, rebounds, and blocks, like just all time. My, he's, he's not there. My thing is this, that there are a lot – the thing is that – I've said this before. It's, the Basketball Hall of Fame out of the four major sports is by far the least prestigious. Ever. Yeah, but even so, with that, the people around him in the all-time list are not Hall of Famers. So – if Aldridge were to carry out this year and probably play like another couple of years, which he definitely could if he didn't have this heart problem, I'd say, yeah, easily he's a Hall of Famer. But I think right now this deal is a Hall of Fame career. And for Brooklyn, at the big man position right now, outside DeAndre Jordan and what, Nicholas Claxton? Blake Griffin's there too. Blake Griffin's a four, but he's not like a le- yeah. legitimate big man. Like, uh, like they're not going to use him for that. Um, he, like, th- I think it's a big hit, especially since on the free agent market right now, there's really no one there like to sign. Move on there. Oh, sorry, Mo Wagner. <laughs> they can sign Mo Wagner or Myers Leonard. Mm. Uh, yeesh. Yeesh. Uh, yeah. Yeesh. Yeah. Yeesh. It's gonna suck when the Nets don't have a center when they lose to the Knicks in the first round. Oh, oh boy, yeah, that's, a, that's a shot caller right there. Mm. Hey, the Knicks are better than the Heat right now. I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, well, you calm down, bro. We'll see in a little bit. Oh, oh we're gonna see in a little bit. I showed last year. Uh, I ain't worried about nothing. I showed last year. Just matter. Who was at a thirty-point game his past three games? Come at me. I don't worry about nothing. We're playing the Nets in uh, two hours at this point. Yeah, we also don't have Oladipo. Depot. Yeah, or Jimmy Butler's also questionable. Oh, wait, oh that's, that's fun. fun. And, uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. That's great. Oh, I thought Ola Depot started playing with you guys already. What happened? He got hurt. He got hurt like three games in. He, like, he's coming off his best. He's during his best game field with them. He, yeah. He's going nuts, and then he, uh, then he got hurt. But uh, going back to Lamarck's all thing, I do. I, I put him in. I get him in. There. I don't think so. I don't think he's in. I, I hope he I gets in, but... I mean, yeah, you hope that people get in, but I, he just doesn't have enough, I don't think. All right. 
Um, do you want to just transition to the draft thing? One more thing. One more uh, thing. Dang ben Askren got – I'm sorry. I love Ben Askren, but Oh, my God. It didn't happen. That's all I'm going to say. It just didn't work out, bro. Well, who cares? Yeah. Not a boxer. Cool. I fight a real boxer, but uh, I guess – Bro, listen – like fair to fight a real. Boxer. I'm just gonna say this: like crying over knocking out Ben Askren in a boxing match after he's retired. He's 36 years old. He was never a like a boxer in the first place. He was a grappler and a wrestler. And then to cry after that and have Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio give you the belt, a belt that had no standing whatsoever. By the way, that was all over the card. No one's a champion. They just gave belts out. That's fun. Okay, this is weird. Uh, they had Pete Davidson and uh, uh, Snoop Dogg uh, doing a little uh, 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 Michigan activity. Michigan activity. Michigan activity. I, I know, I know. As I said, activity. I didn't, I'm not going into what they were doing. Um, they're doing some things on stage. They were playing hopscotch. Yeah, they're playing hopscotch. Look at you, Ben. They're playing hopscotch on stage. And you know what? It just, this wasn't professional. It was weird. There was a robot for some reason. It was real steel. <laughs> the, robot. Uh, it, the robot was crazy, actually. This is just weird. This is weird. I don't like this stuff. It makes no sense. We've turned back on the Whitaker Gaslam. Oh, no, we had two screens on it. Yeah. So we back, went back to Whitaker Gaslam. Like, oh, that was what great, actual fighting that was looks a great like. Fight. Whitaker putting on a clinic against Gaslam. Like, whoa, this is actual fighting. This shout, is shout out to Bobby Knox getting a title shot, hopefully. Most likely. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, I do not like this new stage of boxing. It sucks. It's not good. Pete Davidson did say it best, though. It shows how low of a level boxing can get. Yeah, it was during a comedy skit, too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Pete, da- Pete Davidson calling a boxing match. Hey, what? I mean, Snoop there was five commentators. Snoop had a pretty good call, though. And- Snoop can actually call something. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, he, he does, does that. Snoop knows, knows what he's doing. All right, he, he commentates on the NHL games. You know, he can do exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah, right, Snoop, yeah, Snoop, Snoop, Snoop does well. Uh, so uh, we'll, we'll, tra- no, we'll go to the let's go to the, the we'll go to whatever we have planned. So <laughs> other than that, it's been a pretty slow week of sports. Uh, it's yeah, probably going to continue to be slow uh, up until the NFL draft. Hence um, why we just kind of zoom through a little bit of everything in a couple minutes. Exactly. Um, Pun not intended. So zoom zoom through. Please stop. I said not intended. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> So we have a little uh, mini NFL mock draft. We'll go around the room, uh, picks one through 15. So that going from Jacksonville, New England, uh, each of us will pick five uh, picks on the board. Uh, yeah, we'll just do that. Um, drafts in two weeks, I believe, uh, from Thursday. So a little less than two weeks, probably like 10 days or so. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, we're supposed to have the playoffs right now. This is a normal year, but it's not. So the NFL and not NFL, NBA and NHL playoffs will be going on later. So... Um, this is how we're going to do it. So I will start off, then go Danny, and then go Vin. Uh, when he gets to the Giants pick, so at the fourth round, we'll swap Danny and Vin, so Vin can pick the Giants pick. And then we'll end with the Patriots at 15. All right. All right. I will start the first overall pick in the 20, 2021 NFL draft. Go Rogue. The Jacksonville Jaguars select. Go Rogue. Uh, <laughs> Clemson University. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, Tre- Trevor Lawrence, as it was predicted at, like three years ago. Um, yeah, Lawrence goes one. Easiest pick in the – easiest pick in the draft. draft. Danny, go two. All right, with don't the, pick uh, Sam Ellinger. If you pick Sam Ellinger, I'm not picking Sam not Ellinger. Don't worry. Uh, don't pick Ian Book. <laughs> Shout out to Steve Ian Book. Um, second pick in the uh, NFL – I don't know if that's copyrighted or not. but uh, Yeah, it is. Great. Now it's we can't copyright. <laughs> oh, well. Well, if we get, if we get a strike, my bad, dog. Um, with the yeah. second pick in the uh, 2021 NFL draft, the uh, New York Jets select Zach Wilson out of BYU. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Vin, <laughs> what quarterback are the Niners picking? Vin and Boy. All right. With the third pick in the 2021 NFL draft, the San Francisco 49ers select Justin Fields, quarterback. Oh, you're going Steel. Fields. Fields, all right. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, it's big stuff. I feel like Fields will fit, fit better with Kyle Shanahan than Mac Jones. Maybe especially under a year under two, that would help a lot. I just have a feeling Shanahan just likes Mac Jones just too much to not take him. So I, I, I have a feeling Mac is going three. Um, well, we'll, see, fourth, we'll see in a week and a half. With right. the fourth overall pick, the Atlanta Falcons select Trey Lance, quarterback, North Dakota wow. State. Uh, I feel like that also just makes way too much sense. Yeah, Matt Ryan's um, like 37. Yeah, 37. Matt Ryan's look, looking at the end of his career. Um, Atlanta's going to want to – Trey Lance right now is looking like the ultimate uh, placeholder quarterback. Well, not placeholder, but someone 
play full in, in stage of him. Especially under a guy like Matt Ryan, who's a really, really good quarterback. Yeah. So, like, for me, like, Atlanta, just, like, this it feels like more so, like, this is their guy, and I don't think they're going to pass him up. So, I'm going – I'm going to Atlanta picking Trey Lance. So we're going quarterbacks one through four. Danny, you have the Cincinnati Bengals. Bengals. With the, uh, the fifth pick in the uh, 2021 NFL draft, the Cincinnati Bengals select Mac Jones. No, I'm kidding. Uh, they're going to take Panay Sewell out of uh, Oregon. Oregon. Yeah, they're going to take Panay Sewell. Makes sense, makes sense. It's, and, either, it's either him or Jamar Chase going to Cincy. And they better take Panay Sewell. They, and they, Panay they makes more sense. Yeah, do they, do they want, if they want Joe Burrow to die, then uh, they'll take a wide receiver. Then we go over to you with the Miami Dolphins at six. Shout out oh, to your God. father and my father, too. Your dad's shout a Dolphins fan. Shout out to my father, Miami uh, Dolphins. Shout out to He's this one, so. You're a Dolphins fan. Here we go. This is from the Eagles with the sixth pick in the 2021 NFL draft. The Miami Dolphins are taking tight end Kyle Pitts. Interesting. Interesting. I'm surprised Pitts Very didn't I thought, I thought you were going to have to take Pitts at four. No, I, uh, listen, Lance makes so much sense I for Atlanta at four. I think I'm going to trade back. Miami might go up. Like, someone might go up to take Pitts at four um, or Chase. And then Atlanta, wherever they're at, they'll pick Lance. But I think at, at, in the end, Atlanta goes to Atlanta. There's, but, there's a but no, Kyle Pitts. Yeah, he's phenomenal. Kyle player. Pitts being the first skill position off the board makes a ton yeah. of sense. You I, also need to give – Tua more weapons because if you, 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 know, you got to give him Tua with Gasecki and Pitts at tight end, and then what? Uh, Devontae Parker, Waller, Devontae, Devontae Parker. Parker, and uh, is that it? I think. I mean, yeah, still? Will, still, that's enough. Will Fuller, Devontae Parker, those are four legitimate weapons on a team that is built young and well. Like that's, I mean, that's gonna be. An exciting he has team. protection too, right? He's got a decent off. Yeah, like he's got a defense. He's got a young offensive line too. Yeah, young, good. stable offensive line. So that's perfect. Um, seventh overall pick. Detroit Lions select Jamar Chase, wide receiver, LSU. There you uh, go. That Detroit, having acquired Jared Goff, um, they didn't have their quarterback for at least a little while. Um, they're not going quarterback here. They're not. I, listen, the thing that makes the most sense right now is receiver. The, so they're going to take the best receiver on the board, and that is clearly Jamar Chase. Uh, Danny, go over to you with the Carolina Panthers and with uh, newly acquired Sammy Sam. Sam Darnold. So All right, well, I'm going to do Sammy Samson justice here with the uh, the eighth pick in the 2021 NFL draft. The uh, Carolina Panthers select uh, Rashawn Slater. Okay, so you're going to wow. offensive, going offensive line. That's something sense. he never had as a Jet. I don't really know what Carolina's Jones. offensive line is right now. Which is why I'm picking it. Yeah, and he, he's got too many. He's got. He's already got DJ Moore, Robbie Anderson. He's got yeah, some good. That's he got it. Good, yeah, he's got good weapons there. All right, so Rashawn Slater goes eight. And he's got uh, McCaffrey in the backfield. He doesn't have McCaffrey in the backfield. He doesn't need offensive weapons too much. Probably, probably one of the biggest question marks in the draft right now. What are Denver's going to do? Finn, what do you have the Broncos doing at nine? Is Drew Locke at the nine, future? I, I, hang on. On my screen here – oh, never mind. On it's my screen, I have the Broncos training <laughs> to the Lions. But with the ninth pick, I think the Broncos are going to take Devonta Smith wide receiver, Alabama. Ooh, okay. Ooh. They got the they got so the Judy and stunts. okay interesting. All right, they got what's it, they got Cortland Sutton coming back too from injury. Mm-hmm. So That's three good three good So Smith years. going nine to Denver. Um, so in the top nine picks, offensive players, but that's going to change with number ten with the tenth overall pick. The Dallas Cowboys will select Patrick Sertain the second out of Alabama, cornerback. The pick just makes too much sense. Dallas needs a corner. I don't really think the top nine are really going to need a corner outside Denver possibly, but. Sertain is easily the best corner in the draft. Uh, and this is a guy who's going to pair against pair along Trevon Diggs. Uh, and it's going to, that's probably going to be a quarterback tandem. That's probably going to scare the NFC East for years to come. Uh, now we're going to jump over to Ben at 11 for the Giants, for the G men. I don't, I don't know, man. Oh man. I think there's an obvious pick of who you think we should go. I look, I think, all right, I'm just going to do it with the 11th pick. The New York Giants take Quiddy Pay, edge rusher, Michigan. Oh, Quiddy Pay. Pay. Mm-hmm. Interesting. He's a pretty mm-hmm. darn good player. He, yeah, I would have gone offensive line. Uh, I would have gone <laughs> Jalen Waddle. But that's because I'm a, uh, I like fun. Um, <laughs> well, I'm just going to put in who we picked. Uh, Danny, you now. Uh, I'm in a team with shambles. You have the oh, Philadelphia Eagles. Oh man, I I have to use some clock on this one. I have a I have rankings up to so another players. I haven't done much research. Um, there's an obvious pick here. 
Yeah, but it's the Eagles, bro. I'm trying to get this right. Man. <laughs> um, There's so many. Um, uh, with the uh, – what pick they got? 12? 12. With the uh, 12th pick in the uh, NFL draft, in 2021 NFL draft, the uh, Philadelphia Eagles uh, select – I'm going to say – Danny. I'm going to say Devonta Smith. Uh, Devonta Smith is – Do we take Devonta Smith yet? I don't think Devonta Smith – Yeah, no, Devonta Smith is off the board. He is off the board? He went to Denver. He went to Denver, my bad. Uh, I'm going to – then in that case, I would take Jalen Waddle. Yeah. Th- there you go. Makes sense. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> um, right, they're going to they're gonna see if uh, – they're going to go all in on uh, – what's his face? Uh, blanking on the name here. Uh, Jalen Hurts. Hurts. Yes, Jalen Hurts. Mm-hmm. But uh, that that team is gonna be not good next year. All right, so we're in the final three picks. Um, you want to keep you want to keep going, honestly? No, I can. No, <laughs> <laughs> you picked Devonte Smith at twelve when he was picked at nine. <laughs> My bad. What's the next pick? I do. Like- the thirteenth overall pick, the Los Angeles Chargers will select Elijah Vera Tucker. Wow. Tackle, I believe. Uh, I think he's out of USC. So um, Chargers are going to bolster that O line against um, uh, Herbert. Going to give him more time. I feel like it just makes sense. Yeah, Barry Tucker going thirteen. All right. Oh. Uh, well, with the uh, the fourteenth pick in the uh, twenty twenty one NFL draft, uh, I'm going I'm to have uh, the uh, the Minnesota Vikings uh, select. I have no idea how their offensive line is, but I'm just going to roll with it because I feel so like... you're going Christian Darisaw? I'm going to go Christian Darisaw out of Virginia Tech. Okay. I have no idea how their offensive line is, but I feel like it never hurts to take an offensive lineman. All right. Final pick? Ben. 15th pick. New England Patriots. New England Patriots. Are what they- are the... Pa- are they going in with... Uh... There's one quarter- There's one top quarterback left. And no, it's not sitting is. under Ian Booker, Kyle Trask. They may not go quarterback. Let's you don't think see. they're going quarterback at 15? Well, you never know. Are they, are they going all in on Cam Newton? No! <laughs> let's, see what Vin, let's see what Vince got cooking here. You know what? Mm. What is he doing? <laughs> mm. I think realistically, he's just trying to sabotage the Patriots. Yeah. Yep. I think that's what he's doing. All right, I'm ready. Oh, God. Okay, here Eat we go. The With the 15th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the New England Patriots select Aziz Ojolari, edge rusher, Georgia. Okay, don't think it's happening, but sure. Okay, <laughs> we'll go with it. Um, it's a mock draft for a reason. All right, so key names that were left off. Mike <laughs> Parson, the top linebacker, arguably the number one defensive prospect <laughs> in the draft, left off the board. Uh, let's see. Mac J- Jones? Mac Jones left off the board. <laughs> uh yeah, Mac Jones made a top 15, something that is definitely not happening. <laughs> um, uh, let's see, who else? J.C. Horn, corner, Caleb Farley. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, for, that's pretty much it. Um, Sam Ellinger was left off the board. Yeah, Sam Ellinger was left off the board. He will be left Sam off. Ellinger. Oh, he will, he will get drafted. By who? Call, pick, call your shot. What round? What pick? You don't say the pick, just round and team. Uh, I will say the uh, the sixth round by the uh, Kansas City Chiefs. They can use a good backup. Sorry, they have Chad Henney. Isn't he like it's kind he of won a game. playoff game? He might be. He might be out. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go seventh round to the Jets. Seventh round to the Jets. Two rookie. The Jets. The Jets pull a Washington and pick uh, two quarterbacks. Mm-hmm. What quarterback? What other quarterback? RG Drink or Cousins. Same draft. Oh yeah, they did that. I mean, the, in that case, Alger will be pretty good then. Yeah, and you want to know who won't be? <laughs> Zach Wilson. Yep. Zach Wilson will be good. He'll just get hurt after a year. In that case. No, the well, Jets will uh, run him. Than everybody else. So, yeah, just I to mean, clarify, the official uh, H24 Sports half-round mock draft uh, – sorry, excuse me um, – is uh, Trevor Lawrence going to Jacksonville, Zach Wilson going to the Jets, and Justin Fields going to the Niners. So far, pretty pretty standard. Atlanta taking Trey Lance, Cincy taking Panay Sewell, and Miami taking Kyle Pitts. Standard. Also pretty standard. Detroit taking Jamar Chase, Carolina taking Rashawn Slater, and Denver taking Devontae Smith. Standard. Only one here that's kind of not off is Denver taking Devontae Smith. But you know what? Still a good pick. 
Then we got Dallas taking Patrick Sertain, the Giants taking uh, Cody Pay, and the Eagles taking Jalen Waddle, pretty standard. And then we got the Chargers taking Elijah Vera Tucker, the Vikings picking Christian Darisaw, and the New England Patriots going Isaiah Zojolari. Um, where have, where is Isaiah Zojolari supposed to be? Isaiah Zojolari in the latest cut. Well, this is obviously mock drafts are just all over the place all the time. But I'll just, for reference, I'll use Kuiper's latest mock draft uh, as of April 13th. Um, let's see. Isaiah Zojolari went 30th overall to the Buffalo Bills. Okay. Um, yeah, you know there's a the mock uh, that was re- the first one that came out with like Mel Kiper started doing trades. Dar- yeah, Darius all went 14th to Minnesota. Vera Tucker went 17th to the Raiders, and Miami took Quiddy Pay with the 18th overall pick. Um, again, where did Mac Jones end up? Going? Mac Jones ended up going three to where did Ryan. Where did Justin Fields end up? Ten to the uh, Patriots because he had a mock trade between the Cowboys and the. Hats. Gotcha. I remember uh, the, the one of the mock drafts it was like Mel Kiper did trades like the first time ever. That, that, that's not this year. Yeah. And then he just went rogue and made the Jets trade back for Kyle Pitts, and then uh, he drafted like another edge rusher. So we, we don't. I don't want that. Like I want. I'd, I'd rather. Fun go fact: He has you going, Greg Newsom, corner out of Northwestern at twenty three. Corner wouldn't be bad. I'd rather. I really want an offensive line. He also has the guys taking Jalen Waddle. Uh, when, when's when's the words are one? Ah. The Jets uh, training back Kyle Pitts, uh, Zach Wilson going to Atlanta, um, Giants taking Jalen Waddle, uh, and the Jets taking Quiddy Pay at 23. We're doing everything but protecting Sam Donald, which is yep. – Well, we, <sighs> we don't have him anymore. I know. No, but this is the time when we had him. Yeah. We're doing everything but protecting our quarterback, which is uh, – Jets mantra. Do everything but protect the quarterback. I, that's what I want. Just protect the dude. No, they don't, don't leave him out to die. If you're going to leave him out to die, then just uh, don't worry, it's it's a year. pick a guy that's already sat out to die for a bunch of years. The Jets in the hole are Mr. Irrelevant. I like, let, let, let James Morgan sit out there for a bit and hang out. Yeah. You may sit a fourth on him. Hey, hey he's pretty cool. Uh, did anything else happen? Fourth round pick. Anything, did anything else happen? Or like, anything else happen in the sports world? Probably. We're probably just not thinking about it. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Uh, it, it, Jacob said it, it's been a very, it's been a rather slow week. It's, April is going to be a slow month until the draft. Yeah, yeah which yeah. is two weeks from now. Uh, there's a big UFC card or yeah, big UFC fight next week. Uh, uh, yeah, it's yeah, a three Ma- fight card, right? Masvidal is fighting. I think Shevchenko is fighting too, right? Or no, not Shevchenko. That's, that's going to be the first uh, card with fans in the arena. Oh. Yeah, Full Americans two for two. Yeah. Uh, what's, what's one for one WrestleMania prediction? It's Thug. Is Thug Rose fighting Shevchenko? No. Doug Rose is fighting uh, Willie Jang. And then Shevchenko is fighting as well. I Jessica think. Andrade. Yeah. Yeah. So those two are fighting the flyweight and the strawweight titles we have for grabs. And then and the they, welterweight uh, belt with Usman and Masvidal. Right? Yeah. I, I hope Usman wins. You want Usman to beat Masvidal, but you don't. But you want Covington. I think Covington would be a funny champ. Covington would be an awful champ. <laughs> I think so. Covington would be one of the worst champs in the UFC. <laughs> I, think, I agree, man. I think that would be kind of funny. No! I don't know. I, I, he deserves a title shot. I think. No, I, he doesn't. I, I think he's. If, he needs to win another fight. I, I think he would. I think he's clearly the second best in the in his weight class. And yeah, but your oh, opinion doesn't mean he gets a title shot. Yeah, I, I know. I'm not. I'm not Dana White. I don't make the fights. No. But Dana, if you're listening. Yeah. Dana. Dana, Dana is not listening. Why would Dana listen? We're not even talking about UFC. Hey, maybe he's interested in football. Only one fight removed, and he beat Tyron Woodley, who stinks. Yeah, Tyron. Do you know who else was one fight removed and lost? Masvidal, but we also came off of, a, like, an eight-day camp because he was a sub, he was a replacement. Yeah, I know. But... So he has more of a case. I don't know. Yes, exactly. Get roasted and toasted Dog. and baked. All I'm saying is that this Also, Masvidal went the distance. Uh, Covington got his jaw broken and yeah. lost. By TKO. TKO. I don't know. I feel like I don't know. I just I just don't see. I forget who was saying this, but whoever said it said it best. Uh, I don't see what adjustments that uh, Masvidal could make to maybe even make it a close fight. Being more in shape. And it's still, having a full camp. I think I think Usman just. I think you're underestimating a full camp. I think you're overestimating Masvidal's ability. I'm not saying Masvidal's gonna win. I'm just saying. And I just don't think it'll be a close fight at all. I think it's going to be closer than the first one. 
I think it'll be relatively the same, honestly. Nah. I, like you said, Usman, bro. Usman's like, oh no, Usman's one of the best players ever. ever. I like him. I'm yeah, I, I just don't, I just don't see a way that Masvidal wins unless he he wins. I mean, it, it's all it takes is one punch. We saw that yesterday, but we seen that with Jake Paul. He took one punch. Knock him out. I'm saying in general, though, it only takes one punch. <laughs> You know what I mean? He's not a boxer. He's old and retired. No. All right, well, Jacob's gone. No one's out here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone's just still asleep. But uh, but yeah, that's happening next week. Um, there's probably a golf tournament next week, but you guys don't talk golf. No. Yeah, the masters no. are over. The masters are over, but uh, I'll still follow. Um, how long have we been going? I, I, did I really just did I really finesse Zoom? Did he finesse him, but Ben's gotta go. We go, we go, bro. I gotta make my two o'clock brunch, or else I'll get a wooden bat to the face. Okay, all right. Well, uh, I guess if if Vinny boy's gotta cut, go, cut that part. that's not mission consistent. If if Vinny boy's gotta go, then uh, we'll, we'll probably wrap it up too. Yeah, I mean, I don't know yeah there's, no, there's nothing else to go on. Uh, I'm going to do this again. Shout out to Golf Geniuses down there. They're great. Mm-hmm. But uh, any, anything else you want to say? No. No? Go. Hopefully the Yankees win. Hopefully. Hopefully. Let, 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 let's go, Nick. Let's, let's go. To Nick. Let the Yankees lose. Jan- uh, the Yankees lose. The Yankees lose. All right. Well, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, we'll be back next week. I don't know what day. And uh, I will try not to suck it up a little too. I kind of suck at that. So uh, this 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 one will be up on time. Way to go, Prez. <laughs> Way to go, Prez. Oh, man. All right. Well, uh, President. <laughs> All right. See you guys. Thanks Bye. for watching.